Alrighty, all welcome back to the channel. Of course, my name is Tommy and this is the Gallery Backyard Barbecue. And today's show is gonna be a little bit different, although it is viewer requested. And full disclosure, right off the bat, you guys know that I do do some work for Chef's Temp. That said, I also have done stuff for Inkbird, Meter, ThermPro, Typher, just to name a few. And I could tell you they all put out a fine product. That is until you break out the um until you break out the wireless thermometers, that's where the channel has some problems. As you guys know, or my followers definitely know, I film most of my stuff out here in the shack. And my office is where I edit and also where I, uh, where I monitor the cooks is probably 200 plus feet into the house and through a few walls. And I have had great difficulty with, uh, with any type of wireless until the chef's temp right here came out. This sucker for me just works. And I have been using it here on the channel now probably for four or five months. That said, it has been probably about a year or so or more that I have tried any wireless, uh, any other wireless, uh, uh, wireless uh, thermometers here on the channel. And a couple of viewers have reached out and said, hey, you know, Meter has come out with a new one. Typher has come out with a new one. Did you check out the, uh, the new Therm Pro and blah, blah, blah. And the answer to that is definitely no, I haven't. And that in here is what today's show is all about. I am going to put the latest and greatest from the meter against the latest and greatest from Chef's Temp, both wireless, both priced similar, and may the best one win. It is going to be the Meter 2 Plus versus that Chef's Temp Pro Temp Plus. We are gonna go head to head, and like I said, may the best one win, as I have always shot it straight with you guys, and I ain't not gonna change now. So look, what I wanna do here is let's turn this camera down here to the board. Let's take a look at both of these thermometers, and let's start the show. Alrighty guys, so look, as we get rolling on with this comparison, keep in mind that both units do have some extras that you could purchase for, a, uh, for an additional cost. That said, I wanted to keep these even for the price of each unit, what you get, what they can do, and let's take a look at that meter. And this is gonna be the Meter 2 Plus. It is gonna come in at 138.56. A couple highlights, of course, you are gonna get that classic bamboo outer case. It is gonna be a direct heat up to 1,000 Fahrenheit, typical range, 250, max range, 2,500. We will put that to test. And you can also, like I said, get that Wi-Fi bridge but we did want to keep this right to the price of each unit. Now let's take a look at the chef's temp. And that chef's temp is going to come in at 139.99 with a direct heat up to 752 Fahrenheit, unlimited range transmission, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth with a stand alone temp display. Now look, this is the uh, this is the two extra probes that you can get for the chef's temp. And that is an added cost as you can see there up on the screen. And also, like I said, the the, uh, the Wi-Fi bridge will be needed for your uh, for your meter. Now let's take these outside and let's check out some range. So look, before we take both of these units out to the front to put the test, I did want to comment real quick on downloading the app, connecting both of them to the app, and I am happy to report both of these units, the Chef's Temp, as well as the meter connected to the uh, connected to the Wi-Fi's, the Bluetooth. There was no problem. It was all one, two, three, and I was certainly pleased about that. As I can remember, a year, year and a half ago, I couldn't even connect some of these to uh, to Bluetooth. Tooth. So uh, again, happy to report both units worked flawlessly. Now let's go out in front. So this one's going to get started in my Lone Star pellet grill. That is going to give me that thick steel. And as you can see, I've got two chicken thighs. We are all connected. We are all hooked up. I will get them in the pellet grill. I will leave the units here and take the, uh, take the cell phones to the front of the house and I will start walking. 
Alrighty, so look, as I start my leisurely stroll out with Molly, I just want to let you know, I set up both apps to run the, uh, run the chicken thighs. And as I was walking, I do apologize. I was, wasn't thinking and I was playing with the, uh, I was playing with the uh, Chef's Temp app a little bit, but that is it there on the screen. And you could see as we get down to my neighbor's house, probably, you know, maybe 250 feet or 300 feet or whatever it was, the uh, the uh, the meter started to lose connection. At that point, I turned around and came back in. And as you could see, of course, Molly has to stop and let everybody know she was here. And once she is done doing business, we have uh, we have made it all the way back in. I have sped up the uh, I have sped up the camera at that point, and I just want to show you this one more test here before we take to a uh, to to another test that is going to close out the show but i did manage to get in my truck there it is i've left the uh i've left the app on the screen i've done this in the past i, I just took a quick ride around the uh a quick ride around the block she never loses connection and again that is key for me so look before we close out this test here both apps are telling me that the uh, chicken thighs are done let's go get a handheld and let's check that accuracy and do not pay no mind to the ambient temps up on the screen. Remember, I'm opening and closing the uh, I'm opening and closing the hood to try to get the shot. And the first up is going to be that meter, as the app is telling us it is 171 internal. As we poke it, we see we are 169. I got to tell you, that is pretty perfect to me. A quick jaunt on over to that chef's temp. As the app is reading, we are 168, 169 as we poke it. And you could see we are pretty much precisely at that 169. So I would say the, uh, the meter plus two, as well as that chef's temp, both handles accuracy perfectly. So look, let me clean this up here. We have closed out this test. I've got a London broil. Let me fire up my cue and let's start that test. So this is where the meter plus started to lose me. As you could see, I've got the uh, London broil on. It's been on for about five minutes. Everything was moving along. I did the uh, I did the quick flip over, and about a minute or two after that, as you could see, I lost connection on the meter. And I got to tell you, man, there is nothing more annoying. It, it, it is the reason a year and a half ago that I, I that I never stuck with any of these uh, any of these wireless from any company. Because once you lose connection, you lose the graphs, you lose basically everything. You got to start from the beginning, and that is just a royal pitta for me. So with that alone, this meter would go right back to the store or right back wherever I got it from. So what I want to do here, let me finish my London broil, man. That is going to be dinner tonight, and then I will bring you guys back with just some quick closing thoughts. So look, for 140 bucks, man, I expect things to work. I don't want to buy any extenders. I don't want to buy any add-ons. It is $140 right out of the box. You just expect it to work. And although we started off good, I mean, I knew it was going to lose connection, you know, three, 400 feet away because it tells you it's gonna. So that was no big deal because if you're, if you're cooking around the property and you're never going to get in your, your truck and go, it doesn't really matter as long as you can maintain that connection around your property like they tell you you can. But at six to 10 feet away, whatever it is, and, and you lose connection, man, that is... That ain't no good, man. That is just, you know, that, that that's just taking 140 bucks and throwing it away. And that does not sit well for me. So it is for that reason, I, I, I'm just going to say this meter is no good, man. It is a thumbs down. There is no doubt about it. And as far as the chef's temp, it is the reason that I, that I finally stuck with a, uh, with a wireless because it does not lose connection. It, it, it is, it is accurate. You know, it gives you all your all your little nit bits in the uh, in the app. That it, it's easy to work. So for me, the chef's temp is easily the clear winner on this battle. Now, look, man, I am going to throw this out there on a one on one. If you guys got a uh, that if you guys got a wireless that you use that you want me to put up against the chef's temp, leave it down in the comments, and I will see what I can do. But as it stands now, all I know is the Chef's Temp Pro Temp Plus reigns supreme of all the wireless that the channel has ever used.
So look, man, thanks for sticking with this one. I appreciate all you guys. Again, my name is Tommy. And until next time, we will see you soon.